in classic fashion, uh, finish the project without doing a before, during, and uh, well, this is the after. Video in the process is a thing. So here is one of my smaller trailers. Attached on me, uh, me old mountain bike there, which is run for uh, for road use. Yeah, we got big old 180s on mechanical calipers there. Some nice thick, thick chunky BMX tires. Yeah. As soon as uh, Russia invaded and fuel started getting expensive, I decided to. Uh, break out some of these plans, some of these blueprints I had in my mind for uh, for trailers. The original thought was really they want to go on the back of an e-bike but for development I figured I'd just crack on and use this thing. They pull pretty well, even the, the larger one, larger version of this. Yeah I'm running that van over there in a Mondeo so uh, anything I can do to mitigate the use of that, stop using seriously expensive fuel build something cool in the process. Yeah, we've got these for attaching your standard seat post lights that you'd have on any road bike. Thinking about developing some indicators to go on these as well. So you can run that nice and simply up to the uh, up to the bars. That'd be pretty cool. But box on the back of this one, relatively simply. It's working on quick release. And for anyone who's building these things, the key to uh, stop them flipping over is to get this bed lower than the axle. It doesn't have to be much, but it's got to be lower than the axle, otherwise it's going to fall over as soon as you put anything in there. Yeah, a rock and a rain cover tucked in here. The hitch is... Yeah, it kicks down, it's pretty cool. That's handy when you're uh, not attached to the bike. Also, the bike has to have one of these, your, uh, your bipod. You have a monopod on the back, so unless you've got the two wheels. Yeah. Hinge is probably the trickiest part. Oh yeah, I should also mention these, uh, this and the other five I've done are all completely made out of waste wood. Been doing clearance with a friend of mine. It's all the plywood. Uh, the wheels came from, uh, from a friend's cargo bike company. They changed their forks so the wheels were surplus. Until then I was using a 26 inch wheel. I figured I'd better make a 20 inch wheel one as well. Yeah, the tires came from clearance, all the wood, the screws even came from clearance. So there's uh, only a few bits that I went and actually purchased and this was one of them. The hinge, the outers, they all had to be a certain length so I bought those as well. This one runs with uh, three regular length cables, the other single wheeled ones I've done use a uh, tandem cable. Yeah, yeah this part here came from a, um, a wheelchair wheel, a coaster wheel, sort of uh, self rights itself. The original uh, build I did used the entire wheel and the, uh, sorry the entire fork and the wheel itself built into the front. In fact the big one still got that set up to, uh, to make it tidier. Cut this guy off, mounted the bearings from the same system, and this hitch here. You see the hitch is uh, designed for your 135 quick release. Really it wants just a, a longer, extra long skewer to go through the hole of there. That's, that's quite an expensive part, so use some 5mm uh, threaded bar, you can see there, a little wing nut on that side, and the other end of a quick release. I'm sure I'll come across a a long quick release at some point. Yeah, not quite finished that. This needs a bit more sanding, tidying, restaining. Probably resand the whole thing to be honest, but these are all still in the uh, prototype phase, so I don't want to be spending too much time polishing them off. But yeah, I think I'm going to build some more. And then uh, once they're built to a good standard, this is pretty good. This works really well. Uh, take them on some adventures. See what we can do with them. Uh, these things are pretty versatile. We can tow them up for a quick ride. This one could. We can tow another bike. We can tow potatoes. We can tow a person. Yeah, the big one I've got. I'll show you at some point. Is uh, is more tuned wire. 
Nights is designed around six veg boxes. So that one is uh, commercially minded. Looking about, take on uh, take on these congestion zones. Sweet. Yeah. I'll bring more uh, shortly.